Okay, so I'm Robito, the traveling hypnotherapist, and I travel to help people heal with hypnosis. And I'm here with Bita, and we did three sessions before Christmas here at the Garden in Town Hostel in Porto. Um, and it's been about three weeks since we had our sessions. So, Bita, first of all, would you like to just introduce yourself for the people that are interested in trying hypnosis? Yeah, hi, my name is Bita. I'm 25 years old. I live in Finland and my roots come from Iran. Hi, Rob. Hi, uh, <laughs> okay, so this video is for people that are trying, that, that are interested in trying hypnosis, yeah? And we did three sessions before Christmas and we're gonna talk a little bit about those sessions. But first of all, I just wanted to ask you, um, how are you feeling since you did the sessions? And would you say that you still feel that something's changed? Well, definitely, yes, yeah, something changed because I feel like um, the experiences changed after the sessions. Well, we did three of them, but you can ask the questions and I can then answer. In the okay. All right. Well, what do you mean the experience has changed? Like your... For example, in the second session, when we, uh, the experience I had was from my childhood and I was scared and that was like a traumatic, like a thing that happened to me. And when I, uh, through the session, when I got like, we went in, in there and the experience changed. I went to the room and I kind of saw myself like little Vita and I was kind of calming her down. And it was weird how like, uh, yeah, the end of like the session, I remember I was afraid of my father. I wasn't afraid, I'm not afraid of my father, but the image of him when I was scared then, when I was a kid, I was really scared of my father, but um, I feel like that kind of changed, you know, I can't really. Okay. And so when you, so the idea then of, um, going back to a memory, a scary memory in the past, um, is we go back to it and we change the flavor of it so that when we look back at the memory again, it doesn't have that same reaction. Okay. So when you go back to that memory now, does it feel different now? Totally. I feel like it feels different. Uh, well, the thing is that I kind of like um, censor a few people in the memory right now. Because before it was like me, my cousin and my sister, we were like where we were and what I saw. And now I feel like only when I think about that is like me opening the door and like calming the situation down. I do. I hope... You understand what I mean, but it's not yeah. a scary memory yeah. anymore for me. Yeah, you can maybe now you're getting a bit more clarity of. Yeah. I know how, what happened. Yeah. Yeah, of, of what of rather than the emotional reaction, you can actually see it more from a kind of a, a grounded perspective of okay, I was actually helping in this situation to kind of keep I everybody think, yeah, else calm. Fear. I don't feel fear anymore. When I think about it, if you ask me another, like uh, from other traumas, this one is not the one I'm, I will write, think about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Good. And also, so like what we did then with that memory um, uh, is, is possible for anyone that's watching this that wants to try hypnosis. It's possible for any type of past experience, which um, was upsetting or um traumatizing from from only a kind of a small level right up until something really really traumatic we can go in there we can change the flavor of it and yeah. we can stop it stop it causing pain now yeah well that was my experience well uh we did three sessions right the yeah. first one um i couldn't really concentrate because there were like all these uh attractions well people going you know it wasn't like the place to do the hypnosis so uh i felt like i could go there but i couldn't really go there you know it was like and hypnosis like people think that there is like a witch kind of thing or something and uh well i believed in it and the first thing the most important thing is that you believe in 
the whole sessions, the whole like experience and be open-minded, even though it's the first time. And if you can like compare it kind of to a meditation at the first till you go there and you're like all the time you're um, here, you're like, um, you're kind of like in deep sleep. Well, I imagine myself like being in the deep ocean, like dark ocean. And as like deeper I went, I kind of went deeper into the emotion and that like whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a friend, Jesus, who I will uh, post in a different video. And uh, yeah, Jesus, I healed Jesus over Christmas. But uh, he says that going into hypnosis is, uh, is like going into a dream for him. It's like being awake in a dream. Mm -hmm. But the hypnotic experience can be different for everyone. But yeah, like what, what you just mentioned there is like, I think, first of all, it's important that first session, it didn't work or we, we couldn't get you into deep hypnosis. And the reason, yeah, and the reason, like you said, was because there were people walking around where we were and um, you were getting kind of distracted and a big, a big, a big part of uh, hypnosis is focus. So if the person is unable to focus because of what's happening around them, then, then that's going to affect it. And so what we did for the second two sessions was we went into a, a, a separate room and we just did it there. The, the other thing that you were saying about belief. Yeah. It's, if, if someone doesn't believe that they're going to go into hypnosis, they won't go into hypnosis. Yeah, It's the same as if somebody fights it, if somebody wants to prove the hypnotist wrong, that it's not possible. You've got to let go. You've got to, you've got to kind of focus, let go, relax. And then you said it's like a deep meditation. I totally agree. I mean, I've been doing yeah. meditation now in, for, for many years and when you when when you go into that deep meditative state um you can't go on a hypnotic journey because if you then try to think okay what do i want to do next then it'll just pull you out of the experience that's why you need the hypnotist because you can go into that deep hypnotic experience and then the hypnotist guides you through it in connected to your subconscious at that level and then you don't have to think, you can just go with it, you know, that's... And the thing I wanted to uh, mention is that I think your voice is perfect for it because it's like calm and I could trust. I kind of like understand what you're saying because obviously English is not my first language. And um, yeah, and the third one, the third you made it, it was for my addictions. And yeah. I, the experience I had from that, like, it's now 103 days sober. And um, the experience I had was that I, you want, you talk to my self-conscious, right? And yeah. in my happy place, I saw two versions of myself. And the other person uh, I saw was like on, like, uh, like if I close my eyes, I can see it right now. Uh, the other person was like on hangover, like looking really nasty and had this like thing, like a drink of like <laughs> I had a glass of like whiskey on my hand and all like cigarettes and everything um even drugs like they were like in this terrace we were standing in the terrace and the other version was like a uh, clean me with only like towel on and I, I looked fresh and I was like at some point I was like which one do I want to be you know and obviously I wanted to be the prettier one but um, I'm not going to say that I haven't ha been like um, kind of hesitated or like wanted to go there again. For example, mm. after Christmas, I had this situation, but gladly something happened and I stayed strong. But um, yeah, I think like now it's my own choice. It's not like forced to stay strong it's sober it's my own choice that i want to prove myself i want to be clean and healthy you know mm -hmm. naturally but like yeah but in that session like in end of it when we were like thinking what could help when i feel like i want to like go back there 
And uh, the thing is that in the end, like that hangover me just uh, kind of dropped the things from the terrace, you know? It was like the <laughs> happy moment when I decided what I want to, you know, become. In the hypnotic session, in the yeah. session. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay. yeah, go on, you yeah. can ask me. Yeah, so uh, yeah, what you're talking about now in the third session. So the 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 first session there was some distractions. Mm -hmm. So we we did it again. The second session was the emotional cleaning, which was or the emotional detox, it's also called, when we release whatever's stuck in the body, whatever's not serving us in the body, just let that all come out. The third session was uh, yeah was for um, addictive any type of addiction that anybody has anything they want to uh, kind of stop smoking or eating junk food. And that one's called parts therapy. When, uh, when we get different parts of your subconscious to communicate. So we had the part of your subconscious, which makes the choice to take those, uh, the, the alcohol, the cigarettes. And then we had the part of your subconscious that is the creative part come up with, alternative behaviors that uh, provide the same benefit for you or to change the behavior completely so that it's serving you in a different way and you came up with a new behavior right yeah well I think I had it but I didn't remember it you know I didn't want to like I didn't do it when I felt like going back to my addictions but and I have more addictions than alcohol and cigarettes, like mm. probably many other people do, but um, I've changed it to like <laughs> sugar and coffee and other things. But yeah, um, it might kind of, I, I wanna add that I'm on a like different kind of therapies as well. So all together, like it helped for mm. me. It was helpful for me, you know, it depends on people, but this was my experience. And uh, while I was in the hostel, I noticed that even though like people did things that I couldn't do, I didn't feel as bad anymore because before the days before I went to bed, I was like, so like kind of dramatic about it. You know, I got kind of like went to my own shell and I went to bed because I couldn't do those things. But after I was like hanging out with you guys. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, yeah, with people all over the place, drinking and smoking and yeah. all sorts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, like, you've mentioned a few things already in the video. So, I mean, I'm not going to mention anything else. But, yeah, you there was a few different things, a few different addictions that you were kind of working on. So, and I will probably uh, want or, like, want to do another session with you. And it's from, it's... For my eating disorder okay. and I want to later when you get the camera and stuff and, you know. yeah yeah I'm just waiting for the for my 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 expensive webcam to come which is currently uh, on the way and then I'm going to start doing the online sessions as well uh, yeah, what I wanted to say is if somebody just wants to for example stop smoking or if somebody just wants to um, stop drinking alcohol and if they want to that's important it's uh, there was one guy in the hostel who said yeah try and make me stop drinking alcohol I'm like no then it won't work you've also got to want it um, if it's just one thing one particular thing then with a hypnosis session a hypnotherapy session um, it can it can fix the problem forever we can change the flavor of that of that experience forever it's a bit different for you because you're working on a few different things but the important thing is that as you said it's like contributed it's been helpful for um making those positive changes and, and not in a small way either like you said you know you were in the hostel there were people busy taking all sorts of things and you were around and and you have to believe in it and want it to make it happen and that will the hypnosis will have i like 100 percent. i believe in hypnosis 
if I didn't before, I did actually before that. Why? Well, that's why it worked for me too. But it's the easiest way to kind of heal because it doesn't take that long. It takes mm. only like probably a few sessions, and you can like see the difference. But yeah. it, it, like everyone has a different experience. Like you said, Jesus has had Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus said that it's like being, well, I don't know if it was the same for you, but you said that being in the hypnotic state felt a bit like. Uh, in a dream, yeah, like a, dream. like a deep dream and like meditate, kind of like you're, you're here, you're um, present, but how could I say? The, you like concentrate or, on voices you know but still you're in your deep sleep yeah. i don't know yeah that's the yeah it's the trance state yeah. yeah 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 it's you're you're um you can you can hear everything you're aware of everything mm -hmm. but you're in a deep 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 place of trance yeah. relaxation hypnosis mm -hmm. um yeah deep in the subconscious Thank you, Vita. So I think uh, just to finish, what would you say to anyone watching this video now who's thinking about trying hypnosis or hypnotherapy with me? I would say that um, you won't lose anything. You like you can only get a positive reaction of it. If you don't like get there, you won't lose anything. And um, I would say that Okay, open-minded you know I, I i wanted to try it i don't know what to what else to say you can like ask people read about it and see that there it's not dangerous it's nothing yeah it's just power of mind and a good hypnotherapist who can yeah. make it happen yeah yeah and then and then and then and then really like you put yourself into hypnosis i i guide and um okay. And then I, I also increase that state. I increase that, that hypnotic state. And I take you to different places depending on what comes up. But yeah, like actually it's something that you put yourself into. That's I think what you kind of, when you say you've got to believe in it, you've got to uh, give it a go, you've got to let go. Yeah, you you put yourself into that state with it's my help. It's not collaborating, it's like we both kind of do it together in a way yeah yeah yeah. That, yeah 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 it's it is it's, we do it together absolutely yeah. yeah yeah good thank you so much so anyone who's watching this who would like to try uh hypnotherapy with me uh at robito.info you can read about hypnosis and you can also send me an email or a whatsapp message and we can organize it online or wherever I am currently in Porto in Portugal. Thank you very much, Bita, for um, doing this little video for the people that might be interested right now. Thank you very much, Rob. See you hopefully soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and we'll sort that other session out. I'll talk to you after this video. Let me just stop it. Thank you.